everyone, it's Francesca, and today you're going to see how I created this. It is Tamatui from Moana, one of my favorite Disney movies of all time now. Uh, when I saw this movie in theaters, when the scene came on with the whole shiny song and everything, I immediately was like, oh my gosh, I need to paint something like this. The colors, the vibrancy, the gold, everything um, was just so much fun to work with. I can't wait for you guys to see everything that I did. And there's a lot of tips and tricks that I added in here as well. So I hope you guys enjoy. a bit of a tip right here. Um, if you ever are feeling like your color is a little bit too bright or too pigmented and you wanted it to be a little bit lighter, um, instead of completely starting over, there are a bit of techniques to kind of get everything going without having to start from the beginning. So right here I feel like the eye on here is a little bit too baby pink. I want it to be much lighter. So again, instead of having to let it dry and then paint it all the way over white, I'm going to do a couple things. So first what I'm going to do is just take off with a paper towel or a rag or anything, just the excess. So I'm just kind of wiping it. That way I'm getting a little bit more of that pink off and at the same time I'm taking off the wetness so that way when I add some more white on it, it will not pick up so much of the pink. So now that I know that I did that one a little bit too pink, I'm going to try to not do that to this side. So I do still have a bit of my pink in here. And I don't want to get it all the way off, so I'm just going to use my paper towel to kind of wipe that excess off. And I'll go back to my white. Kind of load it by tapping it on the brush or on the palette. And now I'll put that in. I also want to make these eyes a little bit bigger. As I'm painting this, I realize, you know, this is such an animated looking painting, so I really want the eyes to kind of pop instead of them being so precise and exact. I find in a lot of my paintings, I want things to turn out perfect, so I try to make sure that every little thing is proportionate, but I'm trying something lately to kind of let go of that and really make the things that I like about paintings more exaggerated. Now at this point I know I do want to do a little bit more detail, but I feel like I am going a little bit overboard and trying to make things a little bit too perfect. And again, that's not the goal with this one. I want to be a little bit more free about it. So I'm going to start outlining and that way I can Okay, this is probably my favorite part of painting. Um, when I was initially adding this glow that's around his shell, I was going to want to kind of really blend it in with the purple. That way it goes to a gradient. But looking at this and then envisioning how it's going to look when I outline everything, I kind of like it. Um, I am going to see what that blend would look like just in case I do like it, but it is interesting seeing how just trying things out, you really kind of find better ways of doing things, your taste, everything. Going over, I probably should have done this before maybe I added all of the circles, but I think this will just 
give me a chance to build a lot more layers, which is totally fine. Because once I outline everything, that's when I'll be able to get a lot of definition with everything. This is kind of when the painting looks super flat and almost just boring and awkward. I always like to say if it's starting, if your painting goes through an awkward phase, you're definitely doing something right. So don't ever worry. It's usually the very last steps that everything comes together how it should. So don't give up because you think it's just not enough or it's not good enough. Sometimes it's best to even just take a step away from your canvas for a bit, whether it be just to go get some water or clean off your brushes or even just step away and go back to it another, you know, the next day. That's hard though. I like to just be in the zone on my canvas all the time. I don't like to stop until I'm finished, but sometimes you have to. And to just get some of pieces that are just kind of shiny and everywhere, I'm just kind of, I have the paint on the flat part of the palette, kind of globbed on a bit and then just kind of lightly graze. Don't press too hard. If you press too hard, you'll get really blunt pieces, which is fine. Some of them I did want that, like that right there, I kind of pressed in and made more of a shape, that square shape. But to get a little bit more out of it, just lightly kind of graze as you drag it down. Move your hand around. Don't be perfect. We last left off um, with adding some of the gold, I added some of the pearls and everything. I actually went in and added some um, different mediums to the gold to add some texture. So I used some gold flakes and granular beads, clear granule gel. So yeah, to give it a little bit more pop, more dimension, more shadows, all of that. That way it just doesn't look like a giant gold glob. So now I'm going to add a little bit more for the coin, that way they kind of pop out a little bit better. Um, and then I'm actually going to use some modeling paste for that. That way it kind of has that three dimensional look and kind of pops out as well. I do want to add a few like jewels, some red ones, so I'm actually going to kind of create that like a ruby shape. So the key to doing teeth um, with illustrations, all of that, uh, I would, what I've learned is to not outline everything perfectly. So if you notice, as I bring all of these lines down, like yes, in the wider gaps, you know, I do kind of outline that, but in here I don't completely close every single line. So leaving gaps are kind of good um, because it makes it not look so cartoony so it kind of gives it a little bit more of a realistic look even though you are drawing something and illustrating something and it is a cartoon but again it kind of just makes it a little bit softer and easier to look at. As teeth I'm going to add a little bit more shadows on all of these little barnacles or tooth decay whatever's on his teeth that kind of give it that really cool look. 